beloved soul. It's Encoding Shamanic Peacemaker. So you guys, uh, today I put out the feathers. I just needed feathers today. Uh, but we're doing a pick a card and it's gonna get a little spicy because we're gonna talk about your person and your next sexual encounter with them. How is this going to actually transpire from the beginning to the end? <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm going to talk about their energy and your energy and both of your energies. All right, uh, how is this going to take place? All right, so um, you should choose from these three crystals. I'll just show them to you very fast here. This is the Mika snake. It's purple. And uh, <clears throat> this is a fossil. Beautiful, right? And the last crystal looks like this. It sort of looks like a little cloud, a gray cloud. Actually, it looks like <clears throat> if I just look out the window in Denmark today. <laughs> okay, so, but it's uh, very, very beautiful and very, very, mm, I love it. So, um, well, uh, Use your intuition as always, right? Choose your crystal and pause the video if you need to. And I'll see you in your reading, okay? <clears throat> so hello and welcome. If you chose this beautiful crystal, number one, the snake, the Mika snake it's called actually. This kind of crystal. Uh, well, let's see what's uh, going on here. I want to know about, first and foremost, who is uh, coming in? Um, which divine masculine is coming into your life? Um, if you um, think of yourself as a divine feminine, um, perhaps you choose, right? So using the Divine Masculine cards, I actually made them here myself, <laughs> archetypes and behaviors. So um, we have a shapeshifter to begin with. Okay, um, in what kind, I wanna know, in what kind? Okay, in the bottom we had ghost. All right, so, um, ooh, I wonder what this is all about. What is this all about? Personality-wise, I want to well move a little further into it by using um, the um, angel and ancestors here, okay? To clarify, shapeshifter, Mother Earth, okay? Ah, what uh, is uh, going on here? I'm gonna have to channel spirit, say, okay? Okay, so what I'm getting here is this person is someone who is a, a giver and, um, and sometimes, well, you can't trust them because they say what they think you want to hear spirit is saying, okay? So, uh, and, uh, and that's why they have this shapeshifter energy, okay? So uh, they will sort of fall into place. Uh, that's what I'm getting here, but, but they have a, a very big in caring heart, okay? So, and, um, and that's sort of why they just accept uh, giving whenever it's needed. They're very um, nice that way, and you can sort of always trust them to come and help you and be there for you, okay? So that's the energies I'm getting here. In, in the bottom we have arrow, and that's also contradictory to the ghost energy, okay? Um, again, I want to take them, again, it's like you can't really always uh, trust what they say. <laughs> it's like uh, perhaps they don't even know themselves um, how to say or speak up uh, about what they want. Um, and I feel like with this ghost card, they really want you. They really want to have you. 
but they are insecure in that sense uh, that they are still well putting themselves a little bit um, um, away uh, because uh, they're they're sort of uh, always hiding themselves a little bit to well make other people happy to make you happy but they are really wanting you these two cards we have in the middle here my god they have lots of passion toward you right mother earth a lot of love for you and they feel so uh, i feel like um mesmerized by you and connected to you and uh and they physically they really are attracted to you and want you okay so uh <laughs> okay you guys let's move on i want to know about that beautiful first encounter once you uh get to the point where you meet them okay so and we're using the um uh, terror of sexual magic of course right so um whoops this stuck to the to the table and it was reversed so we have to take it that way spirit say this is two of ones it's in reverse all right so um i feel like once you meet them <laughs> it's it, it, it can be a little bit awkward <laughs> that's what i'm getting it can get a little awkward okay and so it's just when they walk in the door, it's going to be like, mm, uh, uh, hi, uh, yeah, uh, how are you? Uh, mm, uh. <laughs> and that's just really uh, feeling so awkward <laughs> towards them. Okay. Um, and I feel like this is definitely, it can be more them than you uh, because uh, the, of the way they sort of hide themselves to be presentable uh, toward you, right? Um, and then, then they sort of mask themselves up a little bit and become a little bit theatrical with a shapeshifter up over here and, and you know, become weird a little bit, I think. Okay. All right. So, um, all right. And then what happens after that? What happens after that? Okay, we have temperance. Okay, so, well, <laughs> I feel like the energy now, it's like s slowing down. And you start, I feel like I want to say, talking and become more and more comfortable with each other and, um, uh, and feel a connection, a very deep one, actually, uh, with the temperance card, right? It's... Um, and it, it can also be like you are sort of measuring each other out a little bit because the temperance card is oil mixing with water, right? So you can be like a little bit, um, <clears throat> you, well, they are um, black and you're white or they're intellectual well, and you're spiritual and stuff like that, you know, differences right uh, so you are measuring each other up a little bit to see uh, well um how to find how do we find the, the balance here okay but i feel like you will because the temperance card comes in right so and we have justice and that's telling us that well you will find that balance okay i feel like there is a respect for one another and there is a uh, uh being fair toward each other and you're sort of listening to each other in a, a very beautiful way um we have balance and balance right next to each other okay so uh, don't worry if it starts off in a little awkward way. <laughs> Every relationship starts off that way, right? Okay, so... Um, <laughs> and then what is going to happen? The Knight of Chalices. Woohoo! Okay, you guys. So <laughs> your Divine Masculine is going to um, make a move on you i feel like 
they're going to make a move. And I'm just seeing they're coming closer and uh, perhaps touching you or looking you very, very um, deep into your eyes and sort of trying to mesmerize you. Um, okay. And, and you're like, what, me? <laughs> Are you talking to me? <laughs> me? Like this woman in the water. And then you become a little embarrassed or you act like a little, well, embarrassed and little standoffish, like, mm -hmm. <laughs> well, then come and get me <laughs> if you want it. <laughs> oh my God. I love these interactions between divine masculines and feminines. It's so funny. It's so, uh, <laughs> it's like a theater <laughs> to watch, right? But there is, uh, this is becoming more and more hot, uh, more and more sexy. Okay, when I had to flip the card and uh, see this one, and this is Ten of Cups. All right, so love is, I feel like once you start flirting with one another, then you open your hearts up, really open them up. And then the love is going to start flowing. Like, uh, well, we have been measured each other and we have been mm, uh, trying to figure out if this is it. And, you know, and, 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 and then you let go and, uh, and then you start flirting even more with one another because then you become ready for more, right? And then... You open the hearts, both of you, and your hearts connect. That's what I'm getting. And um, and now it's, uh, well, about love. It's about love and falling in love and being in love with someone. And both of you are doing that. Uh, this person is uh, most definitely <laughs> okay so um yeah should we should we ask how you feel about it how you feel about it uh, two of swords yeah i was like i i think I had a little uh, uh, inkling here with you and your energies, like, uh, what? Uh, backing off a little bit. So, yeah, I feel like you might be um, still voting, <laughs> voting uh, to begin with here, okay? I want to see where you end up, okay? Because uh, the Seven of Pentacles, Seven of Pentacles is... Um, well, you are still waiting to see uh, during the meeting. You're waiting to see, okay? The Knave of Pentacles. Let's take it slow. Let's just take it slow. Don't move too fast. Don't move too fast. I'm getting it. <laughs> okay. And then the wheel. <laughs> <laughs> is turning and uh, well uh, I don't know what's happening something beautiful is happening and after that we have the Empress and the Ace of Cups and we have the Tower and we have Three of Pentacles all right so I love this this is you're like mm, I'm let's see I'm well <laughs> still taking it slow to begin with and then boom you know uh, they persuade you with their flirting energy and the way they speak to you the way they look at you the way you feel so connected to them uh, in this beautiful meeting okay and then you are able to actually be who you are and become well strong again and know who you are and what you want and you truly do that with this empress right 
um, I just really love that energy. Um, and that's why they're so mesmerized by you because you know who you are and what you want, right? And um, uh, but the love is there with this Ace of Pentacles. It comes in with the Tower moment. It's like well shaking the ground and <laughs> uh, the lightning strikes and and uh, it strikes with love, right? Recognition that you and I are going to cooperate about this and we want to cooperate we want to be together we want this we want this okay a relationship teamwork love caring well sex in the kitchen <laughs> everywhere <laughs> okay so um Wow, I love this reading. And I don't know why I didn't do a, a last row. Am I supposed to do that, Spirit? Uh, okay. <laughs> the Hierophant. To just, you know, and um, Six of Wands and Ace of Pentacles. Okay, so you guys, we have um, a marriage uh, coming in here with the Hierophant. A very beautiful energy and uh, six of wands is this is going to be a success you guys and uh, the ace of pentacles another ace a new life is starting here be prepared for that okay um, and this person could have ghosted you and felt a little um, well, unsure to you, like they didn't know exactly where they, you know, were. Um, but once you meet them, things are going to, well, happen. That's what I want to say. Okay. You have to meet them. Okay. And then, you know, things are just going to unfold in a beautiful, beautiful way, the way you are wanting, both of you, and longing for um, in your life. You both are wanting and longing for a new life here with someone. You can trust and you can, you know, live hap happily ever after with, with this Hierophant, okay? It's true love energy, okay? And it's going to be okay, you know, with the Six of Wands. It really is going to be okay <laughs> it's gonna be a success it's a victory card right wow so this is what i had for you you guys thank you so much uh for watching here um i'm asking spirit if i should do an extended to this one spirit says um i feel no no we're not doing it extended today, so you guys, well, good luck, and I'll see you next time. Take care. So this is your reading if you chose this uh, beautiful arrow here, okay? I don't know where to put the cards, <laughs> if I have it right there. Let's uh, point it to the left, to the divine feminine side, right? <laughs> All right, so... I want to know who your person is first and foremost and I'm going to be using my own cards um, the divine masculine archetypes and behaviors all right so I just get to know very fast this person of yours that's coming into your life um, before we move on with your first encounter <laughs> all right so um, I had to do it okay I saw it and spirit said take it uh, so, gentlemen, respectful, elegant, honorable, uh, gentle, strong, provider, enduring, love. So that's not bad, <laughs> right? <laughs> Let's do that one. Okay, in the bottom we had peacemaker. So, uh, guidelines, teacher, best for all, priest, fortune, God's will, come again. I'll put it over here. So... Uh, to just to clarify uh, these cards, let's do the angels and ancestors. So I want to see more about this person and their energy. Elder, okay. M move beyond ancestral patterns. Yeah, I want to put it next to the peacemaker over here. Okay. 
Mm -hmm. Beautiful energy. Very mature energy coming in. And a uh, heart guardian. And I see a uh, knight. Be brave and honest. Because I do actually sense a, a little bit of a king of swords energy. Um, also, um, but we'll see if it comes up, right? <laughs> All right, so the energy here is someone who is very, very uh, loving and giving and um, someone who I feel like works uh, with um, as like a humanitarian in that energy, type of energy, um, helping other people more than like you know selling stuff more helper it's um, <laughs> I, I just i see um a city hall and i see um uh, yeah i i just see someone who has an or a school a university or something i see and I also see someone who is standing up for others. Um, actually, I see uh, a group of uh, people demonstrating on the street in front of um, a large building, okay? Um, this person, I feel, is always there for everybody else and and they are extremely wise, extremely intelligent. Um, and that's why I'm getting that king of swords. They are a thinker, I want to say, with this night energy gives me that. Uh, and they are brave and they're honest. Like it says here on the card, and they say what's on their mind. They are not afraid to speak up, but toward you. They are such a beautiful, uh, well, um, loving energy. They so have, res they have such respect for you and they, I feel like they adore you. That's the word coming out and they want to protect you and take care of you and your heart and will provide for you and just, you know, um, be there for you. Okay. Um, mm, they could be a teacher. We have the teacher over here and guidelines and best for all, a priest. Uh, well, they could also, uh, for some of you, no, I don't want to say that. I don't think so. I was about to say lawyer, but I don't think so. I, I, I they, they become a little too tightened up with the lawyer energy. So that's not, I don't think they are, but you know, some of you, it might resonate, you know. Uh, this is an old soul. It's an old soul that understands that there is more between heaven and earth, right? Um, but they tend to go toward their intelligence side before, you know, uh, they ask spirit. All right. Let's see your first meeting with this person. Uh, and how are they going to... Uh, will act toward you, I want to say. <laughs> the devil. <laughs> okay, okay, I'm hearing the word Scorpio, you guys, because uh, the devil is connected to Scorpio. This person could be a Scorpio and not necessarily a devil, <laughs> okay? I want to clarify this one because I don't see with the gentleman them being so honorable. Uh, they come in as, well, with the devilish energy, I feel like, or perhaps they are just longing to have sex with you and feel so attracted towards you instantly when they, when you open the door or when they see you, okay? Empress, there we go. They see you as an empress and they can't keep their hands away from you, what spirits say. Uh, and uh, 
okay and um, this one stuck to the table we have the wheel okay and uh, yeah I sh I, I, they don't let me shuffle enough I just saw the ace of cups I think they have a lot of love for you just as well so I, I'm gonna take it I'm gonna take it okay um, and three of pentacles and the queen of pentacles Ooh, this person is crazy about you okay I just can't tell you it's like they see you they talk to you they want you they are mesmerized by you they love you they want to have a life with you and uh, and they have so much respect for you so I feel like once you see meet them they are just like ready for you okay this is very beautiful, very beautiful energy coming in from this Divine Masculine. They are ready, okay? So now I want to um, know about your reactions to this meeting, okay? Uh, how are you going to react to this uh, beautiful person that's really sure about you, I feel like? Okay, okay, Seven of Swords. <laughs> Yeah, let's take it easy. Uh, we're not having sex right away, mister. <laughs> okay? Stand back. <laughs> that's what uh, the energy that's coming in here. <laughs> okay? Um, uh, yeah, it's it's like... It's like... Um, I want to know who you are i want to make sure that you will treat me right before you um i open my heart up toward you okay and um and if they come in as that devil to begin with and touch you too much and just grab you too much or something like that then you're gonna be like no way stop it you know i don't want that um i want to be sure that what i'm actually feeling in my heart is something that you are also feeling okay um, and I opened this and we have ten of chalices and queen of wands so you want them to be serious okay the high priestess and temperance okay uh, <clears throat> yeah so I really am getting that you get what you want they respect you enough right and um, and here comes the High Priestess and the Queen of Wands. And I'm getting such a spiritual energy from these two Divine Feminines here. And um, and, uh, and the Temperance card tells us that, well, you sort of uh, connect in a good way because they are black and you're white or they are intellectual like the king knight up here up here and you are more the the high priestess in your energy and um and you are the queen of wands and that's why they are so crazy about you they're like wow the empress they think of you as an empress and you definitely are we have all the most beautiful fem feminine cards here we have the empress the queen of wands and the high priestess and temperance right and queen of pentacles it's like you're all that okay uh, i feel like you're sexy and you are just clever and you are so self-confident you're so confident within yourself and um i'm hearing a hard worker and um inspiring other people all the time and they love that about you because this is who they are too right they're also putting themselves out there and i feel like you are as well with these feminine cards that are so strong i feel like you might be well known or something like that okay um and they just mm, i feel like that you are a really great match here okay a beautiful match actually okay and and you are you know I feel like 
it instantly they're going to be ah, grabbing you and you're going to be like, no way, Jose, step back. And then they're going to treat you now as the empress that you are and the beautiful female that you are, right? And then you're like, that, there you go. This is all I wanted. I wanted you to love me. I wanted you to show me love with this Ten of Cups. And they will, I feel like. Uh, and you show them how to treat you with this Queen of Wands. You start flirting with them as well. And you uh, open up and you talk about, I don't know, uh, everything between heaven and earth, I feel like. And, and you connect. And be this becomes more and more balanced between you. Okay? Um, and you feel suddenly like the couple that you are you know the couple with the person that you can trust and you can well this feel like this is my person right this is my person and the balance is coming in over here right i wanted to do another one for you as well here so what how is this going to end up <laughs> <laughs> queen of cups <laughs> wow we have three queens Ooh, i feel like you rule the world divine feminine <laughs> uh, and in their mind they're they're like what how the hell did i get this lucky how the fuck did i get this lucky <laughs> because look at you you are the queen of love now you open your heart completely right you open your heart up completely love 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 this energy uh, okay well let's see overall overall what's really gonna happen here between you guys Eight of Wands is going to start off really fast, too fast, you will think, right? Um, and then the Three of Cups, you're going to, I don't know, feel like you're with an old friend after that. And you, you sort of start off as friends and just talk and have fun and laugh uh, with each other, right? Um, uh, and then we have the King of Pentacles. All right, so, well, you, both of you feel safe and you feel like this is what we want to do, right? I, we have the Queen and King of Pentacles. This is the best of the royal pairs, right? This is the real deal. This is when you actually do, um, the world actually do um, connect truly uh, with another person. And you know this is forever, I want to say. Um, so, um, and you will connect, you will talk in a mature way um, with the King of Pentacles energy here. And, and you will start seeing, feeling so fulfilled, I want to say. Uh, you just, you feel so fulfilled having met each other. And um, and you know you are standing in front of a new beginning, um, yeah, and you you just know it. You just know that now this is it, right? Four of Wands. Four of Wands is most definitely the marriage card, right? Four stable pillars founded really uh, deep in earth, right? and ace of wands then the sex is happening <laughs> so you connect you're like Ooh, we're talking and talking i am hearing you're talking for hours before anything happens okay <laughs> um and then you feel like oh my god like how have, but did I meet you? How did I deserve to meet you? Or where did you come from? I just want, to, I want you and I want to marry. I want to be with you, only you. And then, well, shit happens, right? <laughs> and the Hierophant, again, the marriage card here. 
Okay, um, <laughs> I just love it. The Ace of Wands is a, a new beginning, a very passionate beginning, okay? A very, very passionate beginning. And here we have the sun. <laughs> wow, look at that. It's gonna be hot, you guys. It's gonna be hot. <laughs> you know, having sex with the person you're going to be with forever for the first time yeah yeah ah uh, we have two of cups and in the bottom we have king of cups can it get better than that this reading is like crazy good it's crazy good oh i love it love it love it okay so um this meeting is going to unfold in such a beautiful way. You connect beautifully and uh, once you you know each, other, each other's boundaries <laughs> and uh, um, I feel like just in, in the beginning perhaps uh, the Divine Masculine is a little bit impatient, have been waiting too long or you guys have been waiting too long or they could just be a Scorpio, okay? And uh, we also have Taurus here. So, okay, so, <laughs> well, uh, you could be uh, an Leo. We have lots of different types of cards here that could signify who you guys are. But, well, we don't have to talk about that too much, right? I want to talk about the Hierophant, which is the true love card for me in a love reading. It is um, the love you cannot avoid. It will stick. It will be there. And you won't be able to ignore it, right? The sun is the way you feel when, when you, you are with each other. You feel happy. You feel happy. And the King of Cups is going to really uh, be very loving towards you and is able to actually connect to their emotions. Um, even though they might be an intellectual, they will really also be able to tell you what they feel and how they feel. And this is how your meeting is going to end. <laughs> yeah, take a look at that. All right. Yeah, with all the fruits and the fluids and the, well, eating of the lips and the f touching the flesh. <laughs> okay. Oh, oh, I love these cards. They're so crazy good. <laughs> Two of Cups is a uh, soulmate. This is your soulmate. Okay. This was what I had for you, you guys. Uh, enjoy, <laughs> I want to say. <laughs> I'll see you next time, all right? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Look at these cards. Look at this. Oh, my God. Look at this. I just, I just saw this one, you know? It's like, they're so sexy. This relationship is going to be... You're going to have really good sex. You really are. I'm sure of it. I'm sure. I'm sure of it. There's going to be a lot, a lot of it and you're going to feel fulfilled in that sense because the love is here. Okay. So I'm going to stop looking at the cards and end the reading. Okay. Enjoy. And, <laughs> and I really wish the best for you and uh, we'll take care you guys. Bye-bye. So this is going to be your reading if you choose this beautiful uh, third crystal, all right? <clears throat> so let's get started. I'm going to uh, use, sorry, I have a little <coughs> thing in my throat. <laughs> well, <laughs> it still is winter in Denmark. <laughs> I'm going to use my cards, the Divine Masculine uh, Archetype and Behaviors, all right? So, uh, <clears throat> why can't I suddenly speak uh, moving into this energy of this reading? So, your person. Okay, I have to take these two cards. 
the fool and a daredevil. Oh my God, there is an action packed energy, right? <laughs> Coming in here. <laughs> my God. <clears throat> oh my God. In the bottom, we have baby daddy, a child himself. Um, other women, quitter, uh, not always available, not taking responsibility. I think we should take it, okay? But okay, and then ecstatic. Let's do that as well. Mm -hmm. Okay, I have to take the waiting man as well. Uh, I, for the other readings, I only had to take two of these, but yeah, they come in like, like that. So let's do it. I want to clarify with the angels and ancestors um, just to get to know this person a little bit more in the inside of them, okay? So th this is, a, a, I feel like, a very useful energy and a, a very happy energy, someone who just really wants to enjoy life a lot, right? And um, just do what the, whatever they want to do, right? Um, a broken arrow, okay? <clears throat> yeah, okay. Um, because we have waiting man as well and broken arrow. What does this tell us? Hmm. Okay, so I feel like there is something inside of this person that makes them a little bit insecure and they sort of mask it with uh, being active all the time and just re uh, not never really actually grounding themselves. <laughs> uh, okay, um, but because um, uh, I'm also getting an obsession toward you here uh, in, in an energy here and, uh, and and also just feeling that like I'm never good enough whatever I do I'm not good enough and they have that well um, experience with divine females I want to say um, okay but I feel like you make them happy you make them like so excited and you just Oh my God, they want you. They just can't not go for you, I want to say. And, but you have made them wait, I, I feel like, a little bit. And they've been feeling broken. And uh, not knowing exactly how to come forward toward you, okay? Um, no, I'm not supposed to take any more. <clears throat> we have arrow again, so I'm just taking it. And she wolf. Okay, I, I just I had to take these because um, I feel like she wolf is you and the, the energy that's making them a little afraid of you <laughs> because they are a little bit insecure, right? Even though they are this daredevil when they do sporty things or whatever they want in their life, they choose everything with their heart and do things with their heart, right? And go for walks in nature a lot or you know what whatever they want i feel like okay uh, but you make them a little bit insecure um and you have well for some re reason uh, made them wait and they have felt broken because they just want they know you are their target and they want to go for you toward you and that's just what i'm getting here okay so let's see your first encounter how is this going to take place oh their energy the emperor okay they come in uh, with emperor's energy Oh, I'm just getting a little bit, uh, because of insecurity, they come in uh, as um, a little bit um, awkwardly uh, trying to act like uh, as a grown-up. <laughs> That's the energy I'm getting, okay? Uh, so, um, and justice. Okay, so, well, what's going on here? What's going on here? Because we have the Four of Cups and the Hermit. Okay. Um, 
well and, and the eight of uh, pentacles here okay and the knight of wands all right hmm okay so i feel like you might actually um reject them uh, to begin with I'm hearing the words perhaps not your type they're not your type and um, and you're sort of well they are trying to uh, figure out what it is that you are feeling or or you are not their type it can also be you're not their type but I don't think so because they have been aiming their error towards you and they're wanting you and they see you as the she-wolf a very beautiful energy right so uh, they, they feel like they have to pull back a little bit uh, in this meeting here um, asking themselves well well do they want me uh, do they um, connect to me as I do them right and then they they, they sort of think I'm, I'm gonna work on it and they will just well i feel like have conversations uh with you a lot of them and really try to work on it uh and uh try to come in as the knight of wands and say mm, should we kiss or should we do something and uh, but yeah i don't know what's going ha to happen here okay i want to know about you divine feminine and your energies here okay you come in as the empress Okay, so what I'm getting here is that you um, are the Empress. You come in as the she-wolf energy up here, right? And now you come in as the Empress. And I'm, I just cannot really truly believe that uh, this person is a full-grown emperor, divine masculine with all what that takes, because they are come in as the fool as well and they come in as very insecure in, in, in the first energy up here right so um but they really want to add up to you this is what i'm getting okay and um yeah so let's talk about you again how will the meeting unfold for the divine feminine Uh, Ace of Swords. Okay, so you are... Mm -hmm. And we have also the Knight of Pentacles. In this reading, the Knight of Pentacles is offering the woman a sour lime, a sour lemon or lime or something. But so it's like... Mm, I'm just getting your energy is... Um, I don't know what I can offer you. I, I'm not sure if... Or perhaps you are sure within with the ace of swords you're pretty clear and you perhaps you tell them I can't offer you what it, it is that you want and that leaves them in this uh, hermit mode here okay um, uh, in, in the bottom we have the eight of swords here okay um, Yeah, I, I just I just feel like you feel like I'm hearing the words I can't I can't do this I can't do this okay um, and then we have uh, eight of cups it was in the top of the deck and they told me to take it it is again um, you're walking away from that energy from them you are walking away so you're like sort of abandoning them and their offer this is what i'm hearing okay so um and uh the moon <laughs> so well um 
I feel like you're gonna say I didn't see this coming I'm sorry um, I, I feel like uh, my intuition tells me uh, another thing and um, thank you for uh, trying um, but um, I really need to take a second look at this I'm not sure what I want um, and perhaps you're gonna be hiding a lot of feelings not to hurt them okay all right so what happens between you guys i want to know between you guys the three of pentacles i'm really getting um a friendship uh like a uh, well, you still can, you know, um, team up and talk to each other. And um, but we have the ten of wands here, and that's a burden, right? There is some kind of heaviness in this connection. Okay, uh, death. Okay. Um, so, uh, well, perhaps this uh, encounter is uh, never going to get to the stage of, well, sex. I don't think so, because these cards just don't provide uh, sexy energy at all. They don't. They're like, well, no, thank you, ma'am or just no thank you person or whatever <laughs> okay uh, and the four of pentacles it's like well everybody's um shutting up uh taking pulling their energies in and both are pulling their energies in again okay yeah so um well, I'm sorry to say, I just cannot uh, find any uh, uh, sex in this reading or actually, um, well, I don't know. There there could be some kind of love, but it's not, you know, your person love. It's not the true love, right, that's coming out in this reading, okay? So, um... I hope you can use this reading and uh, move on from this because you come out as this beautiful divine feminine energy and um, and you will you will be able to move on I'm hearing you know um, because you're strong and you are very beautiful and I feel like uh, well, divine masculines will have their eye uh, on you anywhere you walk. <laughs> okay, so um, so don't worry about that. Um, well, but this person has something to learn as well. This divine masculine has some something to learn as well. And um, well, both of you are moving on. All right. So that's what I had for you, you guys. Um, I wish you all the best as always and um, well, take care.